Hello everybody, just a quick video to explain how my circuit boards work. Basically I'm just going to explain the circuit board for this signal here near us that's set to green. So if we go back up to my circuit boards, if you go to this half of this circuit board, this half controls that signal we just looked at. So on my circuit board I've got a white LED to me indicating the circuit board has power. I've got a green, a red, a yellow LED which indicates the status of the signal. I've got a white LED if the signal had a feather and whether the feather was on or off. On the right I've got two LEDs, a green and a red, sometimes I've used orange LEDs. Um, the green LED basically indicates whether this signal is go or stop. So if it was would be green or yellow then this LED would be on. If the signal was red, then this LED will be off. This is an indicator to the previous signal that this, what state this signal is at. The red LED is for the um, indicator of what the next signal down the track is at. So if it's on, then the next signal down the track is either yellow or green. If this LED would be off, then I would know the next signal down the track is, is set to red. Above it, you can't quite see it, there's a blue LED. The blue LED would be tripped whenever the train went over the infrared sensors. This is set to be tripped, be highlighted blue for a few seconds, drop off, and then if the train in that period then triggers the LED again, or the infrared sensors, then it will go blue again. This is the overview of my circuit board and how it works. What I'll do now is run a train to show you how all this works. The train is just about to approach the signal. And when the train goes past, you'll see the LED blue will go on to indicate that infrared has been tripped. This will keep getting tripped as the train goes past the signal. The signal has gone red a few seconds later. The green LED goes off, indicating to the previous signal that this signal is now red. The train is going past the next signal down the line. And when it goes past the next signal, the red LED on the right will go off. The check just has, which means the train has left this section of track and this signal can go now go back to green. This tray, the red LED has gone back on to indicate the next signal down the line is now either green or yellow and, it, and the train goes past once again repeating the circuit. The red LED on the right for this two aspect signal is not hugely important but it would be an indicator if it was a three aspect signal so if the next signal would be red then it would indicate this signal to turn yellow and then if the red LED would be on then it would be indicate that this signal can then go to green this is basically how all my signals work they all talk to each other I'll do a little video at some point on my route circuit board that dictates what route the train is on on my track. Thank you for watching.